Hi guys. Right, um, today we're reviewing a Helgen model, and it's going to be a, a diesel this time. So I'll just bring that a bit closer. There we go. You can see it's um, a class 27. Now it isn't the loco on the box, sadly, but it will be soon. But it is a class 27 uh, slash one. But the loco. If I just, I'll just hold up the box like this, and I'll move you. There we go. That's what it is, basically. It's a Helgen Class 27, and the number is uh, D5381. But there's no product code on there. But basically, it says it can run on DC, and it's got NEM couplings, as well as uh, it can go on a uh, 36 centimeter radius. And it's got sprung buffers. But anyway, we'll open it up for you so you can see it better. Right, just get rid of this part. And oh yeah, by the way, I did um, make this sleeve myself with the 27 on it because it didn't come with one, and the foam part isn't there, so I've had to uh, make a makeshift bit. Right now, if I just move you guys up here, there we go. That's the model in the box. It's still got a couple of head codes on there. It has that can be changed. Uh, it's got, I think that's a little vacuum bag, I think. Mm, don't know what that is, it's a bit plastic. Then we got, that's, previous owners used it by the looks of it. Let's get, there's another piece there. There we go. There is one piece there. Oh, if it'll focus, focusing on photograph. Come on, focus. Nope. Well, trust me, that goes on the front. It does that little piece. You can't see it well. Oh, that's another piece. That's a vacuum bag. By the looks of it. Oh, there is one more piece in there. Oh, it's a little dish. Don't know how that's got in there. <laughs> Right, um, we'll just pop all that back in there. I should keep that. Oh, oh god. Everything's got tangled up now. Oops. Oops. Get out, please. Oh. No. Oh, oh, there we go. Right, we'll get. Right, I'll just pop you guys down and we'll get the loco out. We will. There we go. Just pop that there. Right, here we go. I'll move a bit more close for the low, for the low coat. There we go, that's class 27 in all its glory, guys. To be fair, I'm quite fond of the model, but I do like this side better. As you can see, the buffers are sprung. Like that. The bogies have been painted. They have. I might paint the springs, but the Xbox has been painted. It's lost two windows. Well, there's one window there and one window there it's lost, but. It's got them too, but that one needs to be sorted out. It's been weathered by its past owner on the top, around here and around there. Oops. Yep, there we go. Oh gosh, taking everything along with it. Now, there's the leaf, the loco. As you can see, it's just held in there. It can take any M's, right there. And here, that one's got a Backman one in at the moment because they're better and. <laughs> Whoever has a Helgen model, those they're droopy. Now, the past owner as well wanted to make this model like D5401 with the yellow ends, as you can see. And to be fair, it looks alright, it does, I think, but I might take the paint off that or just keep it as it is, because I can run it as two locos on either side. But comment, comment what you think about this underneath, about this side, because I might, I might just get rid of it. But yeah, that's that's and it's got window wipers it has as well, and the window is open, which is quite, which is quite nice. It's got a builders, it's got the builders plate there. If it'll focus, mm, come on. No, I think that's the best you're getting, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll, I'll just add as well. It's got a lake crest on. It has, which is quite nice. Been quite nice printed. 
it's got a couple of details on this side. Oh, excuse me guys, I haven't been feeling that well. Yeah, it's got a couple of details on that side it has, but apart from that, there's... That, I think that's around it. Right, it's got, it's got nicely made handrails. And it's got two stars there. So we'll pop it on the track and see what happens. See you in a minute guys. Hi guys, right, we're at the layout now and we'll just stick 27 on. There we go. Yep, so on. There's low car on the track. Uh, we'll just give her a little wiggle wheel, see how she goes. Oh, I'll just move the camera back a bit. Right, that's hopefully forward, I think. Oops. Put in mind, guys, I've, I've just given the track a little clean. There we go. I'll just bring it back. That's not bad at all. I'll just I'll bring her up to air and see how slow she can go. Let's do. If we go, come on, focus. Come on. Oh dear, it's focusing on everything else today. There we go. Right, it's focused. Let's see how it does. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's cool. That is good. Look at that is moving. That is moving, trust me. Look, there we go. So okay, I have to remind it, it it's got power there. Just give it another. Just remind it that there is power there. There we go. Oop. Oh, it was moving. Oh, right, quick, I'm get a bit of power and get out there. Oh, still not too slow. <laughs> there, there we go. That's how I, I, I did try to get it go slow. Right, we'll put we'll put her on some stock, and then we'll see how she does with her nice little rake of two Mark ones. Well, three, three Mark ones. It's just two painted up, and one is in blood and custard, and one's in corn colours. Well, both of them are. That's the two. I can't really expand that break. Anyway, we'll see you on the. We'll see you on that train in a minute. I'll just video of her getting it. <laughs> right, take it out. Right, now we'll just get to video in her now, guys. Right, there she is, guys, with a train. We'll um, just start bringing her and see how she does. Right, well that's around it guys, all I can say. I hope you liked the video, uh, I know it's kind of a bit of a short one but I've got I've got all of these to review, I have. Well that one's just one and that one I've already done so ignore them too. I've got all these three because they're, they're from Christmas 
but you can see what they are. They're a Panya, O4, and a Jinty. I've got, I got to do all them. They, they shall be done soon, he says. But uh, there's not really that much to say now, guys. I mean, it's a, it's an overall model. Packaging isn't great, so I'll give that a six out of ten. The loco's missing some parts from its previous owner, but I can get some parts. Uh, so overall, the model, I I give it a seven point five out of ten, and then overall, it's a eight out of ten. So it's not a bad model. If you do see one and it's at a good price, go for it. Go go and get one. It is a good model. Mine isn't in the best state at the moment though, because it's gone through. Because I think the chassis at the older older one and the body's new. So the body's been through uh, James Simpson and Jacob Straw. The body's just been through Jacob Straw. So it's it's that model's been done quite a bit. But I mean, if you want to see any more videos, you should probably find the videos that that's been combined in. But I mean. That's it for now guys, so all I can say is thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next review or video I do. Ta-ta for now guys.